Begin the current daf of the Sefer Chavo. Begin three lines down the top of the Yomit. We continue with the next mission of the series of these Mishnahs of this parak, which we were discussing regarding the different lotteries. They did four lotteries every day. We opened up the first mission of Berishayna, what they used to do at Trumas Adeshin, which ended up being the first lottery. And we spoke about in the previous mission regarding the second lottery, this of the Carpent Tumid, and then we continue with the third and the fourth lottery that they did every single day. Shri's correspondent because of the turn it turn it any time that I'm joining us today's daf. So we're going to discuss in today's daf, as we said, that the Mishnah and the Gemara describes the third and the fourth pious, and for the Gitaris, and bring up the Ibarim from the Kedush to the Mizbech, that's the third and the fourth lines. Then we get into the discussion regarding the actual number of Kahanim needed to take part in the Karmat Tamad, as well as the other Abaydus of the Beis Amigdash, and then regarding the later, uh, regarding in general, different animals require more amounts of Kahanim, depending on the size of the animal. Some of the key terms and concepts are Machta, which is when you bring the Gitaris, not only do you bring the guitars, but then someone has to bring a pan full of hot coals from the out of his bath to the end of his bath. For Ibn Hadrish Melos is the concept that the more people can get involved, the greater the glory it is uh, because the more people are involved. And Shneki Zari Yitzim is that in the morning and in the evening, they would bring two special logs to fire up, which was already the pyre of the Marach of the Mizbeach. But just in the morning, there would be one kind who would bring it, and in the afternoon would be two Kahanim who would bring it. So we begin the current daf, daf Chavab. Three lines up at the top of the Yomit with the new Mishnah. It says the Mishnah, Pious Ashlishi, the third lottery that they did every single day, was Chadashim <coughs> Likatiris. That whoever's new for the Katiris, meaning whoever never brought Katiris in his life, I think I was going to explain why specifically did you need Chadashim, a new person who never brought it, but that's what they used to announce in Nazar. Whoever's new for the Katiris, Bahu Bafis will come and take part in the, of the lottery for being able to have a chance to bring the Katiris. The Ravi and the fourth lottery that they did every single day, and again they broke it up into different parts because they wanted to make a big tumble, but basically not enough, the Rogish, was Chadash and Imishan, the old ones and the new ones. Me, Male, Varm, and Kevish, and Mizbech, who's going to bring up the limbs, which we had already done in the second lottery, which were from those who kind of merited to bring the limbs from where they dismembered it to the ram, and now from who's going to bring it from the ram onto the Mizbech, onto the altar. So, Tana, we learned the Braisa. That this that we said that only new people that never brought Katuris before, they're coming, they're eligible for the lottery of the third lottery, says the Braisa, yeah, me but because no one ever went and repeated his ability to do the Avaida of bringing the Katuris on the Azad. Says in my time, what's the reason why couldn't it be the same kind again? Because Amr Khanin says in the name Shema Sheres, because it makes a person wealthy. So therefore, they didn't let someone do it over twice. Why should you make another uh, three, uh, 300 million when I didn't even make my first million yet? You know what I'm saying? So you're not going to do Katerus again because it makes a person wealthy and give another person a chance. Some of the public advice is my time, but what's the reason that bringing the Katerus makes a person wealthy? Elim mission of Sev is because it says the person can go on that this is by Shevet Levi when it talks about the brachas of each tribe. They'll bring Katerus the incense in your nostrils, so to speak, for Hashem. I want to say after that, Baruch Hashem Chela, Hashem blesses his, his wealth. And that's why people say Ketairas, and that's why there's certain things like uh, the, the, the Sandik like Ketairas, there's certain things, but it's all about this Segul, about becoming wealthy, like we see by the Ketairas. So I have to be only one person. If that's the source of the Pasuk, then in that same Pasuk, it talks about the carbon oil. It says, read the whole Pasuk. Says, well, we were totally burnt on your altar. And that's the oil. So the oil should also be making people fabulously wealthy. And oil is what brought every single day. So Malay says, no, for that reason, exactly. Ha, the oil of is common. And the Kadaris is not so common. And it's logical that if it's saying that you can become wealthy, it would make sense. It's on something that's not so common. Because if not, everybody would be wealthy. And look at look around. It's not everybody who is in the top. 2% or 1% or 0.05% that's, that's uh, flying around all over the world. It must be that, it must be the Qataris, which is not so common. That's the thing that made them wealthy. And again, that's why, yeah, you couldn't get a chance two times to bring the Qataris. Now, continuing on the theme of those Pesukim over there, in Devarim, which talks about the Bracha of Shevet Levi, which includes the Kahanam, which we just mentioned, Samar Rabbi says, Le Mishkachat Tzum Rabbanu Demari, you don't find a Talmudic scholar that's, uh, that's directing uh, and ruling for the Jewish people, El the Asi Meshavit Levi only became either from Shevet Levi or Meshavit Yisachar or from Shevet Yisachar. Why? Because Levi Dachsev in that pasuk that we just quoted before, and that's why we bring in this teaching. Yer Mishpatev Yakov. They will t- teach your judgments to the Jew- to Yakov to the Jewish people. You see that they're the Ma'ir Hayra and Yisachar Dachsev. 
And Shevet Yisachar says the pasuk Diber Yom Aleph. The Shigir says Umnei Yisachar from the children of Yisachar Yaidei Binali them that they know for understanding for the times. Well, Das Mayas Yisrael to know what the Jewish people should do. That is, they let the people know what they should be doing. That's the Mayur Hara. Says Gemara Ve'Em Yehuda Nami. Why do you include also Shevet Yehuda? Because the Chassidus says the pasuk and tell him Yehuda Mecheiki Yehuda my lawgiver. Which Chais asks, why is it? Why are you bringing the pasuk and tell him you bring a pasuk in Bereishis? So that's his taste. No, that's a bracha. But it doesn't say exactly that that's with, that they were the Mechaikim. But the Pasuk tells says exactly that they were the Mechaikim. So they were the lawgivers. So, so why don't you mention that part? Why, why don't you say Yehuda also? So it says Gemara, no, Asuki Shmaita Liba de Hilchaz Akamino. What I'm saying is, coming to a conclusion of the topic according to the halacha, to rule according to the law and to know what to do. You can be a grace of the Rosh Hashiva and say, we can hobbling and tumbling, you can say a big Shmuel, but when they ask what to do, Lamai says, he doesn't know what to tell you. He says, you know, it's, it's, that's what I'm saying. Shave a lady, Shave Yisacha, they could be the Moira Rok and say, Metit Azoi, this is what we do, versus, you know, the other ones from Shave Yehuda, they're the Machaiki, the law givers, but they're not, they're not able to tell you exactly, Lamaskan, Lamai, so what you do. <coughs> Continue on this theme of our, the halach of our Mishnah regarding the lotteries. So I'm going to be this is, They wouldn't make lotteries for who's going to bring the evening Karmatamid, which if you recall, in the second lottery that they did, they had like a whole list of Ka'anim that gets this limb and that limb and this side list and this thing, and we would do it twice a day, once in the morning, once in the afternoon. You didn't make a lottery, another one, for the Tamash Rabbein Abayim. Why? Because Kayin Shezachim by Bashachim is, the Kayan, every single man who got his rights, whatever limb he brought, he brought the head and the and the right hind leg, whichever one it is that he did in the morning, Zaycha by Arvis. That's what he did again in the evening. So there was no more lotteries for the Tamil Shabbat Nabayim, which Taisa says it's a wonder, but anyways, it would make sense we have to do another lottery in the evening because of the two Gizari eats, uh, the two Gizari of the two logs. Which, as we're going to actually uh, address, those in the morning were the Kayan who got Chumas Adeshin, he would bring the Shnei Gizarim. And the evening, you had two other Kahan who brought it in the evening. So, wouldn't you have to do another lottery anyway? So, he says, no, according to Rabbi Yechen, it was obvious to him that in the morning they would also have the lottery for the two Gizarim of the Bein Abayim. Because, since, anyways, the lottery that they did in the morning for the Tamar HaShachar would be effective for the Tamar HaShachar Ben the logic would be that they would then do the lottery also for the Shnei Gizarmah Ben Abayim, and then, therefore, they didn't do a special lottery, a, a fifth lottery for the Shnei Gizarmah of the evening. So then why, so then Tais says, so why didn't you mention it in the Mishnah by the second lottery about the two Khan and bringing the Shnei Gizarmah for the evening? And this is Tais because they only met the third Khan who get to, to do by the second lottery according to Tamar HaShachar. But you're right, that you were also, you have to, you have to say, that they already did this in the lottery, in the second lottery. But the Gemara says, Mesa, the Gemara asks from the following Brisa. Brisa says, Kishem Shemavayis and Shachar, just like you make the lottery in the morning, Kachmavayis and Ben Abayim, so you make the lottery in the evening. <laughs> so you see clearly that you do make another lottery for the Tamash of Ben Abayim. So the Gemara, no, Kitanya, he, when we learned that Brisa, that's big Katoiris. By Katoiris, we said, no, you couldn't have another person doing this. The one who brought the Katoiris in the morning, not bring the Katoiris in the evening, but it makes the person wealthy. Then we said, no one's going to do it twice, if we did another lottery. But regarding the Kabbatum Shabbat Abayim, that we wouldn't do it again. But says, how can you say that? Just like you make the lottery for it in the morning, so do you make a lottery for it in the evening, which Katiris should have been a Lashon Nekeva. And, 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 and here he's saying a Lashon Zacher, it's obvious that it's going on the Kabbatum Shabbat Says the Gwaim Allah, law. Say no, it doesn't mean law, it's law. And therefore it's referring to the Katiris. It says you might have the price that says Kishem and Vice and Loy Just like you do a lot of it in the morning, Kat Mabai Lai obviously do a lot of it in the evening. O Kishem Shafai and Loshaka, just like you do a lot of it for it in the feminine in the in the morning, Kat Mabai and Lai do for the for it in the evening. So you see it's saying Loy and Law. So it's already addressing Kataris by saying law. So what's Loy? Loy is obviously doing another lottery for the Tamil Shall Bay Nabai. So Amr Shmuel Barabitzkuk he says, Hokha Bashaba says, Can you write? Generally, we would not do a separate lottery for the Tamid Shalbein Harbai. He would talk about on Shabbos, and the Hoyle and the Shmaris Mishachis. On Shabbos, the Mishma that did David in the morning is not around in the evening, because they would split halfway uh, during Shabbos. The Nuch, the children, they would switch, the, the Alta Kahana would leave, and the Nukam would come in. So, because the Nukam, of course, you had to do another lottery, because it couldn't have been the Kahana for the morning. 
Fine, so therefore that answers the question, but generally they wouldn't go ahead and do a new lottery. But says the Gemara, my disalika dait me car, but according to what we had originally entertained to say, that they would do a special lottery for the evening, but then the fish lo payasis. So then they had too many lotteries. You told me that there were only going to be four lotteries a day. Turns out you're making five, but could you make another one for the Tamashab and Abayim? Says the Gemara, no, may say kulum et Coming, they all came in the morning. And that's when they would do the lottery about who's going to marry to do Tomasho Shachris and who's going to marry to do Tomasho Bayim. The Zachar is Shachris, the Zachar, the Zachar, the Zachar, the Zachar, whoever married to do in the morning marriage and whoever married to do in the evening, meaning they would do a separate lottery, but at the same time. As we said, that it's not a raya when we said we do this four lotteries in a day, that means you couldn't do more lotteries. It's just that it was the four times that they would do it. But in that time that they did in the Tomasho Shachris, that's what we had to think to say that maybe they did a separate lottery. Other karma are going to do Tomasho Ben Abayim. And we say, no, it's the same kind of would do it, but it wouldn't have been shved that you have too many lotteries. It would have been still the same number of four. And Shabbos, you would do the Kohanim from the afternoon already make the pies in the morning? No. Oh, you say, no, uh, you wonder if they did another number. No, it sounds like they did another lottery. They did more than the number of jobs. So they did more than that number. That's what it sounds like, because there's Kach Mephis in the harvest that they would do a separate lottery for it in the, in the evening. So we continue with, with the Halach and the mission that said, that Haravi, the, the, the fourth lottery was, meaning in contrast to Kataris, which specifically was only those who are new, to bring the limbs from the ram to the Mizbech was whether you knew or old. So the Gemara seemed like Rebbe Lezben Yaakov. Mishnah is not like Rebbe Lezben Yaakov. It's not because we learned Mishnah said, the Talmud said, Rebbe Lezben Yaakov, he says, Hamale Evarm Lekevish, meaning just like we said, whoever brought the Talmud Shal Shacha would go ahead and bring the Talmud Shal Ben Abayim. So he says a similar idea. He says, Amali Ram the Kabesh, who's bringing the, the rams, the, the limbs from the, to the ram? Who Mala Oysen the Mizbech. They were the same ones who brought it to the Mizbech. Whoever got that limb and brought it to the ram, later on in the day, he would bring it to the Mizbech. Meaning to say, when they would originally bring it, they would bring it only on the bottom half of the ram. So that they don't have to go the whole ramp at one shot. And then when they, later on, they would come and bring it up, so then they would pick it up from the ramp where they had dropped it off earlier, as the Gemara says, and then they brought up, it would be the same Kahanim who did that. So obviously, uh, he's not like the Allah of Mishnah, because Mishnah is saying the fourth lot of it was, but who's going to bring it from the ramp to the Mizbeach? And he's saying that no, it was the same Kahanim, he's not doing his ever lot. <clears throat> so it says he was a Mike Melfi, what's their dispute? Mars of the Tanaka held, as the puzzle says in Mishlei, Barab Am Hadris Melech. The multitude of the people is a glory for the king. We want more people. So you guys are going to bring it to the ram, and we'll get other captains to bring it to the ram. The more people involved, the greater the glory. But Amarash, the of Yaakov, who he held that, no, it's the same Kahanim, he held that Malkim Shechinen, in the place of the divine presence. It's not appropriate, because it looks like, as if it's a terech, I'll drop it over here, you finish off the job, I already set up, I already put down the forks, you bring the plates, I'm done already, you know what I'm saying? So it's not appropriate that you drop it off and then you leave, so that's why he says it's going to be the same Kahanim. Which Tracy points out that you remember Lezim Yaakov would agree, and let's say what we have in 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 the by Perak Tamish Nishka and Pesach and Pesach Adal Madal that every Pesach the Jewish people would have many different Kahanim that would do it, and he would he would pass it to him, and he would pass it to him, and he would pass it to him. No one would do it all himself. And the Gemara explains because Rebbeim had his mouth the more Kahanim involved, it's glory. There it's not a problem because there he wouldn't leave; he would just get more. He, he, I'm running to the kitchen. I'm, I'm, I'm here. You take this. You finish it off. It doesn't look like I'm that interested in helping. I'm running to the kitchen. I'm going to the fridge. I'm getting more stuff over here. So therefore, he, of course, he agrees to the concept of as hard as milk. Over here, the problem is, you know, it looks like you're done and you're leaving. That's why it's lava or chara. It's not appropriate to, to do it. Never you have to finish it off. Now. So the concept of That's on week month. How do you do that? What, what do you do with that? Let's say somebody wants you driving someone. And someone wants to take the second half, you know, take it as, oh, the mask limits, I'm like, oh, yeah. I don't know. So based on this, Omar Rabbi says, Lo Yerbelezim and Yaakov is like a Yehuda. Yerbelezim and Yaakov obviously does not hold like a Yehuda. If you recall from our previous talk, Rabbi Yehuda had said that there was no separate lottery for the Machta. The Machta was the pan when you brought the Katiris, there was, like we said, there was a Katiris, someone had the frankincense, and someone would bring a pan of hot coals to then make the. Like we had by the Bamitza, they had the, the going hot coals there with this green katayda start and say, so as a voider, the guy was, was busy with the coal the whole time. So I'm saying, so there was no separate lottery for the, for the pan according to Yehuda. According to Belezim Yaakov, Rashi explains, you had to have a special lottery for the Machta because 
you're missing, as Tysus elsewhere explains, the, obviously it was a, a number four. It's a magic number four. You have to have four payasas. According to Blazim you're missing uh, the fourth lottery to take it from the Kevish to the Mezbeach. That was pious number four. So obviously, Blazim Yaakov is not like a Yehuda, because according to Blazim Yaakov, you have to add on another lottery, and therefore he, he made that you had a separate lottery for who's going to get the Kedars, and who are you going to get them after? That was lottery number three and number four. And in Blazim Yaakov, just like your Blazim Yaakov, which would be Yehuda, Obviously, it's not Holy Good Blessing Yaakov because uh, the Imkain, if that would be the case, then Batsalu Payasas. If it, it you be who the holds, you don't have a separate lottery for the pan, so you only have number three is for the Kataris, and he just picks whoever wants to take the pan with him. But if you held a Good Blessing Yaakov, that tells that there's no um, pious from the Rams and that, you would be left with only three. So obviously, each one of them don't hold like the other one regarding uh, their uh, respective opinions of what <coughs> lotteries would make. Now, if you find a Tana that has five lotteries in the desert, can come in base, obviously, who do like Rebbe Yaakov? Who do like Rebbe Yehuda? It's obviously not like either one of them. Meaning, because the Tana who's going to be considering five, obviously, he has to be considering that you have a separate lottery for the Machta. That's not like Rebbe Yehuda, who says that you don't make a separate lottery. And, and, and the fact that you have to have a lottery from the Rebbe who's there is not like Rebbe Yaakov. So obviously, if you find any Tana who has five, it's not going to be like either one of them. Continuing to look at the next Mishnah, which continues on the theme of the previous Mishnah, regarding we were talking about how many Kahanim are involved in bringing out carbon. So here, actually, what we're talking about, we're only mentioning from the transportation of the limbs and onwards, but we're not talking about some of the other things we mentioned in the previous Mishnah, where there we were mentioning uh, who's going to clean out, let's say, the Mizbech HaPnimi, Mizbech, the, the Menaira, we're not mentioning the Sheikh the Zerg, those four, we're not mentioning. So it's from the Avarm and onwards, who is bringing the Avarm to the Kevish, meaning everyone agrees that you have to do these things every single day. Here, they were t- considering the number of how many Kram were involved in the Karma Tamid was only um, from, the, from the bringing of the, of the limbs and onwards. So it says the Mishnah Tamid Kara, the Karma Tamid was brought either with Tisha, either with non Kahanam. Either by Sarah or 10, or by Achadosa or 11, or by Sarah or 12. But the Prophet said, he never had more or less than 9 or 12. And it's always going to be either 9, 10, 11, or 12. And again, we're, you keep on adding on another 4 um, because of the, and, and, and in addition to the Silas, Chavit, and Yayin, that when we're saying there was 13 kind in the previous Mishnah, here when we're saying 9, we mean besides the additional uh, 4 that we had said. Uh, in, in, the, in the previous Mishnah. It says, it says in Mishnah Ketzat, so how so? When, when do you have um, 9 and when do you have 10, 11, 12? So, Atzmai, uh, the when you have the carbon Tumit itself every single day, that's Betes. That's 9 Kahanam. How do you have 9? So we had said there's 5 for the Avarim, which um, there, was, there was 1 for the intestines, 1 for the Silas, 1 for the Chavit, and 1 for the Yain. Which Rashi points out is obviously called Lezim and Yaakov, which Tosi disagrees, but that there's no other one more Kayan who brings it from the ram to the Mizbeach, because if you hold like our Mishnah, then you had another Kayan that had to be counted from the Karman Talmud that he brought from the ram. That was the fourth lottery from the ram to the Mizbeach, and he was not counting another Kayan. So obviously, it's like Lezim and Yaakov that holds that it was the same Kahanim who brought it up. I see that. We have six here. Well, no, this is the Kravayim, this is the intestines. So that's, that's, that's considered separate. There's five Ebarim, one, two, three, four, five. And this is the Kravayim, and this is continuously on this picture with another four. That's five, um, that's five limbs with uh, four other things, which make it into a number nine. And again, then there's, a, like we said, there's an other four, which we're just not mentioning. I would mention the previous mission that there was 13, they were mentioning nine. It's only because we're not talking about who's shafting, who's doing the zriku, who's doing cleaning, who's cleaning, who's cleaning the benayur, that we're not mentioning, we're only mentioning from the, 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 the animal itself. Now, the Mishnah continues, so that's when generally you have a number nine. Bechag, on the other of Sukkot, we need to have not just the regular libations, which we, we're mentioning in our number of yayim, you also have, have another famous nisach of amayim, so Biyarech in the hand of another kind is Slech Shalmayim, is a flask of water. So he's kind number 10, Ari Kanasar. Now, Bein Arabayim, every single carbon Tamit Shal Bein in the evening, you always had Ba'achat Asr. You had 11, again, plus 3, which is 14. 
but uh, plus uh, four, which is fifteen. You had eleven kahanim. Who asked my betisha? The kavim tamed itself. Again, we're talking about only bringing the limbs and all those other things. Were with the halacha and onward is nine. And mishnayim beyond mishnei giziri eitzim. You had to add on for atzim aracha two logs that were ama squared to bring on to the mizbech. The kavim is going to learn from the pasuk that by bein abayim you needed by the tamed shal bein abayim two gizarim with two kahanim. In contrast, in the morning. They didn't need the Shneki's arm with two kahanim. There's only one kahanim, and the reason why we don't count that another kahanim as another person is because he's actually included in the one who got the Truman Sadeshin. So there wasn't part of a lottery in the second lottery. There's actually the first lottery who got Truman Sadeshin got to bring the Shneki's arm. And the Gemara is going to learn out how we know that, but in the Torah of the you have to add on another two kahanim. And the Shabbos also, you would have the to 11 kahanim, because who has the Mitesh? Like we said, the, the Torah itself required nine kahanim. And Mishnayim, you have another two kahanim, but you got them in their hands, were Shnei Bezich and Levayin, Shalom Lechem Abanam. The two spoons of frankincense that they bring to put on to the Shulchan, which was by the bread, the showbread. Now, for the Shabbos, Shabbat Techechad, if it's Shabbos uh, uh, Sukkot, uh, in, in, in the Yomtev Sukkot, we have Echa Shalom Lechem Abanam, and the hand of one of them would be a flask of water. So therefore, and you also have, on that on Shabbos, you always have to have another two of the... Levina, so it's plus two plus one, then it's going to be the number 12. Because you have nine plus two is 11, plus one is 12. Now, the Gemara makes a deal that Amrab Abba, Vitem Rudame Bacham, Vitem Rasam Zerjav Yechon. That even as my Machak, I can prove to you that they wouldn't do the Nisachamayim, the pouring of the water libation on this Bech on the end of the Sukkis, Elabit Tamit Shazach, only by the morning carpet Tamit. Mimai, how do you know this? Menik Tani. Because we learned from that mission that we said, how could I have the magic number 12 of Kahanim? Is the Shabbos of You could only have it if you have a Shabbos that falls out on Sukkot. Then you can have Be'alech and Slech You can have, besides the two spoons of frankincense, you can have one of them holding the flask of water. Oh, so the inference is that any other, other day of Sukkot, you would not find to have 12 Kahanim during the Avaida. So says the Gemara, because the Bisa, you can entertain to say the Betom Shabbos of Abayim and ask him that you do the Nisach Amayim also by the Betom Shabbos of Abayim. So then, Bechoyl, maybe during a weekday, a Chalamayid, the rest of the days of Sukkot, not in Meshkach, it's like, you don't have the number 12. Every Ben Abayim, you're bringing nine Kahanim are doing the carbon Tavash of Ben Abayim, and two are bringing the Shnei arm, the two logs of wood, and one's going to have the flask of water. You're going to have 12 over there. Obviously, that, you didn't bring it in the evening, only brought it in the morning, and that's why it said it only is going to happen on Shabbos that falls out on Sukkot. Rav Ashi says, Avinan Amtinini says, we also learned like this in the Mishnah Set the Sukkah. Because it says over there, or the Manasseh, that for the one who was pouring the libations, the coin that got that schus, Oymaladi would tell him, Hagriyadcha, lift up your hands, let us see that you're pouring the flask into the golden, the silver bowl that's on the Mizbeach, which had a hole like, uh, like, like a thin nostril, which the wine would pour in there, and then that was for the libations, and there was two nostrils, one for the wine and one for the water. And if you tell them, lift up your hand, we want to see what you're doing. You know, when you say, lift up your hands, we want to see what's going on over there, hands up in the air, you know, we want to see what, what's going on. So why, why they ask that? Because one time, it happened that the Kayin didn't pour the flask into the bowl. Rabbi Nasach al Gabiragla, he actually poured the water on his feet because he was a Tzaduki. And the Tzaduki was not moigdet to Nasach because it doesn't say explicitly anywhere in the Torah. It's a whole rem is mem, yud, mem, it's like, Whatever. It's like, oh, this, is, this is not true. And he poured on his feet. Oh, so everyone, they, they threw their astrogam at him. And they, they, they gave him over the head. They like, like you see the beautiful picture over him. With the pitma aruf, you know what I'm saying? Like, you get him, like, it gets him really in the eyes. Or now, why do you have to say that they threw their astrogam at him? If not, that it was coming to teach us. Because nisach mind which is what the tzaduki was doing, is only when Mimenep the Lilav, when Neptun the Lilav, when you're holding the Lilav and Esrik, in the morning, Baha'u, Shlami, no, obviously, because that's when they did the Nitzchamayim, it was only in the morning when they come into the Shachar, and that's when they threw their astroig when they say, Yaros. And therefore, that's again a riot to prove this point. What? Yeah, it's a Zacharayim. You know, it's a Vin Litvish, right? So that's. Uh, but it's in the morning that they do Tabat Shal Shacham, and therefore that's why they, they, they threw the Esroi Gemara. So again, that's why it was only possible to, to have the number 12 on Shabbos that fell out of Sukkot. 
Now, continue on this theme of Allah Halacha by Mishnah. So, can you learn the Brisa? Shim ben Yechai Oimer, he says, How do you know, with which we had already made this assumption in the Mishnah, that the evening covered Tomet, Shatoin Shnei Gizari Eitzim, that requires two logs of wood, Bishnei Kanan, the two Kanan, that's where we got the number, we said, oh, you can have 11, every Tomet Shabbat Nabayim, nine to bring the Tomet, and another two Kanan to bring the two logs of wood, where do you get this from? Shemek says, the Pasuk and Yikra, it says, V'orchu Eitzim, it says in the plural, they will prepare the wood of the fire of Mizbeach. Now, the truth is, this Pasuk is not talking about Tomet Shabbat Nabayim. But says the Gemara, if it's not teaching us anything regarding the morning covered Tamid, because we already have a Pasi that says, and the coin's going to burn wood every single morning. Baruch is going to appear the wood on it. So I already know every single morning that you're preparing wood. So if that's the case, what's this other Pasi going on? Oh, today, it must be, this one doesn't say, it must be talking about regarding in the evening, that's when you're going to have Ba'orchu two kan and bringing the, the, the wood. Now, says the Gemara, how do you know that? Then the Eid be Eid maybe both Psukim are talking about the, the morning carbon Tavid, Vamanachmana Ovid, Vahada Ovid. And the Torah is telling you do it and do it again. Meaning, first one kain should organize the two logs of wood in the morning, like it says Uvir la kain in the singular, Uvir, not Uvaru, and then let two kanim, another two kanim, bring two logs of wood again in the morning, like it says Vahu. So maybe it's one plus two in the morning. Says so no, if that would be the case, never crow uvir uvir. Then the Pasik should have said uvir uvir. And it should have said it in the same terminology. Oh, why does it say va'orhu? Says so no, I'll tell you why. It caused it on uvir. If I had it said uvir uvir two times, how do you mean a chad in? I would have said, yeah, the second time only have one kind doing it, tray loy, but not two. Kamashalon did not betray chad, but not betray. That's what it says, uvir and then va'orhu. Singular and plural, okay, you got one kind doing the two kind. Says so yes, but in Kane, if that's the case, the name of Kroh Uviru Viru. Then they should have kept the same terminology and just switched from the singular to a plural. Or Inami Ba'arch Ba'archu. My Uvir Ba'archu, why is it not only changed from the singular to plural, it changes the wording that it says from Uvir, which means to burn it up, to consume it, and to Ba'archu, which means to appear. Shema Menor, could the Karmina must be like we said, because one Toma Toma Shal Shachar, and one Toma Shal Shachar Ben Abayin, which only the Toma Shal Ben Abayin requires two Kahanim to do the Maracha, but like we said, the Toma Shal Shachar actually didn't have. Two kind of doing it, and that's why we didn't even count that at all because we're the one who got Trumas Adeshin that did the two Gizarm in the morning. Now, Tarim Chi will learn the Bricer. Chi says that this pious, this lottery, Pa'amim Yid Gimel. Sometimes you had 13 Kahanim that were busy doing the carbon Tumen, which is really like we learned in the Mishnah, which we said in the previous Mishnah that by the second lottery you had 13 Kahanim who were doing it, which that's really what our Mishnah said, from Noam Ka'amim is really plus four, because we said that there was four, we had the Shrit, the Zrika, the Medash, the Zechab, the Medash, the Medash, the Now, Pam Yadalim, sometimes you had, like on Sukkot, you had 14 Ka'amim doing it, because again, we're just adding four of the, what we really said in the Mishnah, because we said there's nine, sometimes 10, sometimes 11, and we're saying you have to add four because of the 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 shchit the zerika and the the dishin up in the sevech of nimi and the menorah. So somebody had fourteen, which was on sukkahs, because he had another one had a flask of water. Pam and tezvav. Somebody had fifty kam, which was on shabbos, like we said, because he's adding another two. And pam and tezayin. Sometimes he had sixteen kamim, which was in when shabbos falls out on sukkahs, which we said in our mishnah, we said the word twelve again, but plus four is sixteen. But says gemara, I have a tanya yizayin. I have a bris that says sometimes you have seventeen. Says the Gemara, he, that Bryce, that Tano, he holds that, yeah, there was another Kayan who would bring the limbs from the ram to the Mizbeach, and therefore you have 17 until like a Blazim Yaakov. Not like a Blazim Yaakov, who he said that our mission is going like. And like a Behuda, rather like a Behuda, who he said that there was no lottery for the pan of the, of the coals. And therefore, obviously, we said previously, he does not hold like a Blazim Yaakov. Because if that would be the case, he would have too few lotteries. And therefore, you need another coin, which was to bring up the ram from the bath. That's who that price would hold, like this says it's going to be 17. It's like a who holds that there was another coin who would be, like we said in our prior Mishnah, which would be the fourth lottery to bring it from the ramp to the Mizbeah. Now, continuing the next Mishnah, regarding how many kahanim are used to bring the limbs of the, of the carbon to the Mizbeah. So, in our previous Mishnah, we had spoken about a tumen. A tumen is a canvas, is a lamp. Now, we're going to talk about larger animals requiring more kahanim to be involved in that body because you need, it's bigger limbs, you need more, more kahanim to bring it, as the Mishnah tells us. Ayala ram is kar be'echad asr. So unlike we said in the Talmud, which the Kevis requires nine kahanim, a ram requires 11 kahanim. Why? Habasr, the meat, 
was bechamisha, was with five kahanim, which is just like the carbon tamin of the keves, which, as we said in the previous mitzvah b'chafei, the ram is the same thing that it requires five kahanim. Now, hakravayim, the intestines, vasilis, and the flour, which were two israelim, vayayin, and the wine were bishnayim bishnayim. See, unlike that of the keves, which had only one coin for each of these things, here needed to have two kahanim each for one of these for, for these things because it was double the amount. The silas was two israelim and the yain, so that required each one to have two kahanim. So therefore, you have a total of eleven kahanim doing this uh, doing this uh, ram. Power of bull, which is much bigger, karba esrim ba'arba required twenty four kahanim. Yet a reishba regal. So usually we can see it together because in the previous animals, which were smaller, you did it all with one coin. So the head and the right hind leg, it's actually not going to be with one coin. Harish Be'ach, the head's going to have one coin, but Regal B'Shnayim. And the right hind leg is actually going to have two coins carrying it. Parokids were Regal, which in prior animals, which were smaller, you had that in one coin, the tail and the left hind leg. No, here, Ho'okids B'Shnayim, the tail itself is going to require two coins. But Regal B'Shnayim, the left hind leg is going to require two coins there. Hachaz Ba'gera, the, the, the breast and the <coughs> neck, which again, in the prior animals was one coin. No, here, Hachaz Ba'echad, the breast is going to require one kain. But gera b'shleisha, and the gera, the neck, which has the, the trachea, it has the heart, the little liver, it's all hanging from the neck, that's going to require b'shleisha, that's going to require three kain. Shteyadayim, the two four legs, which again, prior we had said was one kain, here, b'shleim requires two kain. Which the father's b'shleim, the two flanks, also requires two kain, each kain carrying one flank. Hakravayim, the intestines, vasolus and the flower, vayayin and the wine. B'shleisha, shleisha, were with each one, Having three kahana do it. Which Tyson points out interesting here because the order that we set over here is neither derech iluche, not derech nituche, not derech iluye, not derech avshetay. And Tyson goes through to explain. So, why is it this order that we're saying it? Um, we always said that when you're transporting, you have a specific order, which had a machlik, and Tyson says it's neither one of those orders. But that's why it requires 24 kahana for the par. Now, the Mishnah makes a qualification, but then remember, when do we say that you need so many kahana for every single animal and you have to make a separate lottery? For them all, is the tzibur, is when you bring your carbon for the tzibur, but a carbon of a carbon yachim, but a private individual carbon, in rotzlahakrim. If a singular kind wants to sacrifice it all without a lottery, so then makrim, he's allowed to go ahead and be makrim. We don't need to have all these kind. If he wants to go and do it himself, so then he could go ahead and do it. It's only by carbon tzibur that we, 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 okay, we want to give everyone the chance to so make a lottery. And moreover, have shaken many tucha, the skinning and the dismembering, shall elu ve'elu, of either the carbon silver or carbon yachas, they're shoving, they're equal, which the Gemara is going to explain. That means to say that that's kosher for a czar. A czar is able to go ahead and skin the animal and dismember the animal. It's not considered part of the blood, just have to be done with a coin. So, we're discussing today's daf, the Yuma daf Chavav, was we went to the next mission about the third lottery, which we said, oh, that's only people that are new that never got a chance to be in the Kitarit. The fourth one we said was uh, it, with, with those who really had had already a chance for the lottery. Who's going to bring the limbs from the ram to the mizbeach? Which we said that's obviously not like a lizard Yaakov, because he said that no, the ones who brought it to the ram are the ones who bring it to the mizbeach. And the reason why it's not appropriate it's not like to just drop it off and you leave and someone else do it. Which that disagrees with the town of Amish, no hell no, but Abraham doesn't look, the more people involved, the more glory there is. Which we said Rabbi Lezim Yaakov obviously disagrees with Rabbi Yehuda, because obviously Rabbi Lezim Yaakov has to hold that there was a pious for the Machta, for, because those are going to be missing number four. You don't have the four, but the fourth of Amish bringing it from the ramp to the Mizbeach, so obviously he would hold that you had a special one for the Machta, and Rabbi Yehuda disagree with him, because or else he would have uh, too few. Uh, types of, of, of lotteries if he held that you didn't do from the ram to the mizbeach. Now, why did we say there was only new Khan that brought the Keteris? Because it makes a person wealthy. As the Pesach says, Baruch Hashem Cheloi, which is right after Yisimu Keteris Ba'al Pecha, and therefore, well, you can't do it two times. We won't ever give him the chance to become wealthy. And uh, it says over there, B'chol, it says, talking about the carbon oil. It's obviously, it's, the oil is all the time. You know, it's not the stab like Rashi says that the uh, the thing that's common is to make people wealthy, it's, it's not so common. Uh, there must be the Qataris, so it's not so common. Moreover, once we wrote in that Pasik of Sheva Levi, we said that uh, uh, someone that's a Moir Hara has to be either from Sheva Levi or from Sheva Yusafa. I said, Yehudim Chaykiki, 
That's, he's not, we're talking about Shemites Gimel Hilchasa. We come to raise Medapis, you know what I'm saying? They always say the girls know more halacha than the boys, you know what I'm saying? The boy's learning all day, they ask him one thing in the kashas, he doesn't know what is, his right hand is. There's a difference, the Suge Shemites Gimel Hilchasa says one thing, that's Mishay Belebi Yisacha, but Yehuda, although he's Mechaikaki, doesn't necessarily mean he's, he knows Gimel Hilchasa. We said that, you even taught that you don't do a separate lottery for the Tamash Ben Abayim. Rather, whoever did in the morning, all those Abayim, whichever one it was, bringing the, the Geira and the, and the Chazer, he does it again by the Tamash Ben Abayim. And the same thing is regarding the Keteris. Whereas on Shabbos, I always said that we do it over again. No, he said this that we do it over again is the Mish- on Shabbos, when Mishmar is on the then obviously it can't be the same Kahnen. That's when you do it again, but generally you don't do it again. He went to the next Mishnah regarding how many Kahanim do we need to transport the carbon tomit, we said it's never less than nine, it's never more than twelve. Why? Nine is by the cutting itself, by is a regular carbon tomit, which is, like we said, because there's five different parts of the animal that it's divided, the ration, the regal, the the the, the, the dayim, it splits up into five parts. Then you have the kravayim, and you have the soilers, and you have the, you have, the you, have, you have another four. So that's gonna be five plus four, that's nine. Every time the carbon tomit is, is not. Now, on sukkis, you're gonna have to have ten because you have another <coughs> kind bringing the flask of water, the nisakamaya. Every carbon tomb shall be the bayim is 11, because you have also the two gizari eights, and so you have 9 plus 2. So to Shabbos you have 11, because you have to come bring the base bazik and the Now, the, we know that Tamil shall be the bayim requires two kam to bring the base gizari eights, <coughs> because it says ba'orku. And in the morning it says uvir, and it changes the wording, and it says in the plural, obviously the Tamil shall be the bayim has to have another two kahanim to go ahead and bring the shnei gizam to have 11. And on Sukkot that falls on Shabbos, you can have 12 because besides the two bringing the Levina, you can have another coin bringing the Tzlechus, Shal 9, which the Gemara proved from there that obviously you only do the Nisach by the Tomet Shal Shachem. Because if not, you would have the number 12 by every Tomet Shal Ben Abayim during Cholom Oit because you have the two of the shnei gizam and you have the one with the flask of water. And the Gemara says, yes, and so do we prove this from the Mishnah Set in Sukkot that the Gemur Be'ester Gehem which in the morning when they're saying hal by Tamil Shalbain Shalshacha, that's when they threw the Esther at him. And that's what that's why the Mishnah was saying is because why else? We don't need such graphic visuals to say that they're throwing the Sergim. Like Rashi says it that the, they were tell, coming to tell you a halacha, parenthetically, that yeah, because that's only when you do the Nisrahmaim is in the morning. Then we went to the next Mishnah, we said that depending on the size of the animal, it's gonna be this, the amount of kaham, the quantity. We said by a ram you need eleven, because it's more by the Nasachim. And by a power, he says, I mean, 24 kahanim, because the, the, the animals' uh, parts are so much larger, and you need that many more kahanim to, to, to bring it. Now, we said that's by Karman Tzibah, by Karman Yachid, that you, he can bring himself. And more, we said that the skinning and the dismembering of whether it be Karman Yachid or Karman Tzibah, that's going to be the same by both of them, which is Kasher, Bizarre, by a non-crime. Thank you for anything. For